Okay, let's see how we do here. So we're going to make a barbell using D3. And I just have the template here. Um, so what I'm going to do is just continue my programming here. And let me show you how to make a comment in JavaScript. Just do two forward slashes and then just make any comment that you want. Um, that can organize your code a little bit better. So I'm going to make uh, the circles, let's say. Well, let's say, let's do this, groups. All right. So I'm going to put this barbell inside two groups. I'm going to have an outside group, and that's how I'm going to handle its translation, and then an inside group, and that's how I'm going to handle the rotation if I want to. So let's, let's start with uh, the outside group. So I want to take SVG and I want to append a group. So I just do this, G, all right? And I'm going to give it a name so I can use it later. So I'm going to say um, outer, okay, sorry. Oh, what is this here? This is like this and outer. And like this there all right now I'm going to add an inner group but so what should that be attached to the inner group should be attached to the outer group not to the SVG right so I want to take outer now and append a group and I should give that a name as well. All right. So I've got the SVG container and then attached to that I have this outer group and then inside that I have this inner group. And um, before I move on, why don't we, because by default groups would be centered here at the origin, but why don't we move everything over to the middle of the SVG container. So I can add an attribute here and it would be a transform attribute and I'm going to translate. And I'll move over 300 and down 150. So I, uh, whoops, what happened there? Uh, I forgot the, uh, include the, uh, Second set of double quotes there. All right, so we don't see anything, but we've got two groups here, and the the outer group has been moved so that it's centered in the middle, and then of course the inner group is there as well because it's inside the outer group. So everything is in the middle now. And so how about if we move to the next video and we'll start to add the components then of the barbell.